Hello, welcome. My name is Cameron Stewart, Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at SolarEdge. And today we're gonna do some wiring of the SolarEdge load controller onto a 120 volt contactor. So this contactor, uh, just a little bit about contactor anatomy, is there's always gonna be a supply side and a load side, and the load controller is gonna be connected to the supply side. You can see the coil rating on this one is 120 volts, so we're gonna to need to run our neutral to the coil. So first things first, let's go ahead and open up the Solar Edge load controller by putting our screwdriver into these two tabs and releasing the cover. All right, so now we are going to wire the supply side of the load controller. So line one, line two is how the load controller gets powered. So we're gonna wire our power conductors from line one, line two to the contactor supply side, line one and line two. So I've already pre-crimped my spade terminals onto these conductors and I'm just going to connect them to the spade connectors on the contactor. So line one, I'm just gonna route the wires into the line one slot and I'm gonna use a flat blade screwdriver to open up the compression spring by pushing down, push the conductor in and then give a good tug test and you're done. All right, now we're gonna do line two. Same thing, flat blade screwdriver. Tug test, I'm gonna route my wire. Using my spade terminal connector, I'm gonna connect it to the supply side of the contactor. All right, so let me give you a little spin so you can see what we did. So we can see line two right here, and we can see line one right here connected on the supply side of the contactor. Now we're gonna wire our control. And the common is gonna be connected to line one. And the normally open, the normally open or the normally closed positions are gonna be connected to the coil. And that's what controls the coil. So now we're gonna wire the control side of the load controller to the contactor. So the normally open or the normally closed positions are gonna be wired to the coil. And that's what the state of the coil is. Is it on or is it off? Is it open or closed? And the common is gonna be wired as a voltage reference and is gonna be wired to the supply side of the load controller. So here's my, since I'm using a 120 volts coil, I'm gonna wire just channel one. We only have one contactor. I could do channel one or channel two, it doesn't matter. But in this case, I'm doing channel one. And we're gonna wire the common to line one. There we go. And then we're gonna wire our normally open to the coil. So I'm using a white conductor for the 120 volt coil to the normally open position. Again, push down on the pressure clamp. And we're gonna go normally open to the coil. And then wire manage. Great. Let me give you a spin. So you can see normally open to coil and common to line one. Now we have the wires that are gonna go back to the load. So this is the load side and whatever wires we took out of our breaker would go back to the load. And in this case, I have a two pull load. Great. Okay. 
So that goes to the load that I took out of the breaker. And then we'd wire from the breaker and from the neutral bar to the supply side and to the coil. Right, I gave myself a nice little wire loop so I could really torque down on those conductors. And then the last one is going to be from the neutral bar to the coil. So I have a 120 volts coil. And that is how you wire a solar edge load controller to a contactor with a 120 volt coil.